something very uh, very strange happened and I just uh, found out about it through uh, YouTube <laughs> I'm telling you uh, these youtubers are something um, the uh, the United States of America now have implemented some kind of uh, uh, rule I guess you can call it about uh, uh, the um, uh, uh, movement of people with with passports or, or citizenship from Europe in the United States of America born in the island of Cuba so basically if you if you born in the island of Cuba and you are a citizen of Spain or you are a citizen of Germany or a citizen of England or a citizen of uh, I don't know Russia or whatever you must obtain a visa to enter the United States of America and I think that is going to backfire big time um, Half of the population in Cuba is from someplace else, just like in the United States of America. Uh, for example, um, uh, almost almost uh, 100, uh, 150,000 Cubans uh, are Italians, and another 150,000 are from Spain. And, and I mean, they, it's all kind of numbers up there. They, you know, reality, no one knows exactly how many numbers uh, uh, you know they're talking about but a higher percentage of the uh, of the population of the island of Cuba are not from Cuba they are Europeans and, and when the United States of America attack these 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 citizens from European countries I don't know but I think it's going to be a retaliation from the Europeans uh, and you see that uh, uh, not long ago when the uh, United States of America started imposing uh, rules uh, about the uh, 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 travel from uh, uh, Middle East mi Middle East countries to uh, to the United States of America how the Europeans retaliated and put tremendous pressure on the United States of America and they finally say no no problem you know everybody can come in and you know it's all kind of crazy thing going on but uh, uh, how can you how can you make you 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 friends your enemy <laughs> I mean how I mean analyze this why and for what reason you are going to discriminate against the European Cubans um, I have no idea. I have no idea the reason. Uh, you know, this uh, Biden administration is going crazy, and you have to understand the uh, the the guy leading the leading uh, uh, executive running all this in the United States of America is a Cuban. Uh, so analyze that data. You know, the the leadership of the United States of America is a Cuban and he is discriminating against the European Cubans so you figure you know how, you know it's crazy it's crazy anyway I just want to let you know about it they uh, uh, you know what is happening up there and uh, the reason I have no idea the reason uh, I can see putting pressure on the uh, <clears throat> on the Cuban regime you know if you if you are a um, a, uh, a Cuban, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a general or a Cuban uh, economical leader of some type, or a military leader, or a religious leader in Cuba, whatever. Hey, don't come here. I don't think nothing wrong with that. Because that is directed to the Cubans. It's not directed to the Europeans. And, and um, I don't know, but... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get on the fight with the Europeans. I mean, uh, you know, the Europeans are basically here, uh, running our our infrastructure. You know, our trucks are European trucks. Our cars are uh, European cars. Uh, everything is European. The mind, the, the the mathematicians are coming from Europe. 
the science is done in Europe. We in the United States of America no longer have control. And uh, you see it, you see it right now with this policy of uh, uh, discriminating against uh, uh, European Cubans. So you figure that. Uh, I can say this, the, uh, the United States of America Cubans, uh, uh, the citizens of the United States of America uh, uh, born in Cuba, uh, or, or, or in relation with that island, and for, for that matter with uh, anyone, any country in the American continent, they are leading this nation. They, uh, they, they, they are promoting this nation like, like, like never before. Um, and you see that uh, with uh, Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos, and, and uh, all these uh, multi super billionaire, they are uh, somehow or another, they're related to the Cubans. So there you have it. Uh, they're trying to discriminate against the strong. That is not a good idea. I'm telling you. Uh, so let's let's see uh, let's see if how it's going to end up. But uh, make no mistake about it. The United States of America is going to be on the losing end on that one because you cannot discriminate against the strong. I mean, it's impossible. You think you might, but uh, you cannot. Uh, you cannot you cannot discriminate against the uh, the Italians or the French of the of the Spaniards or the Portuguese, and this is what are we talking about? We're talking about citizens of the European Union being discriminated against by the United States of America for the simple reason they were born in the island of Cuba. Well, saludos and keep eye on it and see what is going to be happening within the next few weeks. Saludos.